Hi folks, welcome to this week's LMP3 at Road America, so let's crack on with it. Right then, lap done and dusted, and let me show you the info tab for you. We are using the fixed iRacing setup. Track temperature 121 Fahrenheit, so that is pretty toasty. And a moderate use of 44% is what I always use for these track guys. Now, the lap I'm going to go show you is the one very down here, lap 24. Last one in the session is a uh, 20183, uh, 873, sorry. Now, did a full tank here, or at least half a tank, because this was getting down to really, really low. You can see that I'm getting down in two minutes just, and then the two ones. This feels a lot, lot nice around here on lower fuel. So the open setup is particularly nice. So annoyingly, on the fixed setup, we've got to deal with a full tank. So that's what I'm going to show you. A slightly slower lap, well, almost exactly a second slower because I'm carrying around a lot more jungle juice in the tank. So uh, yeah, bear that in mind. The, the open setups... I'm expecting C59s in the open setups, to be brutally honest with you. This thing does go a lot better around here with fuel. You do notice it. Towards the end of the fixed race, you will notice this car is a lot, lot more comfortable. Um, anyway, what else do I show you on these things? Um, should be good racing around here. Um, the open setup, it's a big old circuit. It's got space. There's good overtaking opportunities. This thing can actually stretch its legs. So in the open setup, uh, overtaking traffic should be relatively easy as well. So that's a, always a good thing. Split times for you there. So if you can focus on a sector time, you can have a gander there and uh, say if I'm faster in sector six, you can focus on that sector and none of the others. So it cuts down your learning a lot nicer as well. Uh, OLAP, BLAP, to learn sheet and replay file will all be on my Discord just in case you need it. And I'm also using Garage 61, which is an online telemetry tool. Very, very useful. Very, very good. Not affiliated with them, but yeah, just a useful tool to add to the track guides where you can actually compare lap times, which is very, very useful. Otherwise, I think that's enough of me waffling. So yeah, let's crack on with the guide. Right then, Road America, and did enjoy this very, very much. It wasn't too bad around here, and it's going to be good for motor class as well. So we're hunting for turn one, and we're using these three cones. Be very careful around here on cold tires, because it's quite a fast corner. So get out that braking, turn it in nicely, lose loads of the kerb, even a bit of grass if you want to. Be careful at bottom man out, and be careful of the exit kerb here, because it's not very wide. And the wall narrows about here, which is very nice, so there'll be big crashes there, so be warned. Using this marker here, which is about the 100 or 2 marker, break in an easy straight in line downhill here. Nice and easy on turning. Get a light apex if you can and kind of increase the power nice and slowly. Don't run too far wide because that again curb isn't very, very wide. Now, big straight here. This is going to be a huge slipstream opportunity, so be warned. Even though the MP doesn't have much slipstream until you're right up the act axis, but you are going to get dive bombs into this corner. So, downhill breaking zone, you want to break just before the two in a nice straight line. Open the corner up as much as you can by using all of this curb here on the right-hand side. Second gear, off the brakes now, and easy into the corner. Feed the power in. Don't run too far wide, because again, you can use all of this bit of the track, but do not touch the grass. Up the hill now, we want to look for the radical signs, and just before you pass them, you want to gently on the brakes, because you go over the crest, so you don't want to unsettle 
out of the car. Turn it in nice and neutral. Give the curb a little cheeky tick as you go past and start feeding that power in very nicely. Do not run wide there. You will induce a spin and hit the wall on the left-hand side. Ask me how I know. This kink is flat out. Just maybe a confidence lift on cold tyres first few laps and get ready for another downhill break. And so you're using this marker here just after it, which is the three board on the wall. And you want to break in a nice heavy straight line. Do not lock a tyre here and take it slower than you think. You need a good exit out of here because it's kind of coming into the carousel now. Do not run too far wide. Although if you do, you can nip a little bit of grass there. That's absolutely fine. Under the bridge. Take it nice and tight around here and then lift off as you start understeering. Try and keep to ish mid to close track on the apex there. But all we're doing is hunting around this corner and we want to get on the curbing that appears just here. We want to try and give that a little cheeky tickle because if we hit that, we know we won't run wide here. You see I miss it slightly, so I have to keep on the steering angle just a little bit. Coming through the kink, kink is absolutely flat out even on cold tyres. If you're running the open cl uh, open class with the multi-class, uh, be careful about overtaking GT4s in there. They will, will run wide. So be cautious about that one. It's not a good place to ever take through the kink. Anyway, hunting for the three board at this point. So just before it, you want to break again, nice and flat, nice and easy, and do not lock a tire here. I came through second for this one. You can go around it in third, but I think it, the second gave you a better kick out of the corner. So bear that in mind if you are testing, trying second or third, depending on what you feel more comfortable with. This left hand kink is absolutely flat out, so don't worry about it. Just don't cut it too much because the curve is quite high, so you can bottom out. The change in tarmac color now, that's our braking marker for the last corner. And stay wide as long as you can. And then as that curb ends on the left-hand side, start turning. Get a nice late apex. Give the curb a little cheeky tickle. And be careful about running wide. You will disappear off into Narnia. So it's not good out there. And you may spin as well. But get a good exit and that should be your lap time. Exits here. You want to get a good exit out of the last corner. Good exit out of turn three. And a good exit out of the carousel as well. Because they lead on to the massive straight. So they're going to be your best opportunity to decrease your lap time. But that is us across the line in a 201873. Really looking forward to this week, to be honest. Uh, I haven't been enjoying some of the tracks recently because they've been as slide as hell. This actually felt quite nice. So hope everyone has a good day and uh, enjoy the video. Do like, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.